Hello everyone, and thanks for joining me here. My name, of course, is Mr. Mocha Lover, and yes, we're going to continue playing as the Juvenile Reich in the Hearts of Iron Florida campaign. Yes, that was a weird title I had yesterday. Uh, I thought I might as well just say that, just, just for fun, just for fun's sake. Anyways, um, right now we are doing the Reich's Autobahn next for our focus. Future. So, we're doing the Reich's Autobahn, so we get to the German war economy to get six more military factories, which will be very, very important. Followed up after that, I was thinking doing of Demand Slovenia, Reassert Eastern Claims, which we really don't need to do, or Demand the Sudetenland, which would be very interesting to do. Hopefully, the Czechs will capitulate because I could use their factories. Also, I basically just started this game up. I reduced the amount of oil I'm getting from Venezuela, and apparently Hungary wants to come into my faction. Uh, well... They are strengthening the fascists. So, I'm going to say, okay. Uh, I don't mind that. And you know what? I might just make Hungary great again. Alright. Eh, screw it. Why not? I really don't see any point as to why not. And really, the crux, the real thing I want to do and focus on in this episode is producing, producing, producing. And, of course, we just Anschlussed Austria last time, which was a very good thing for us. Uh, you know what? Go ahead and come to this guy. I very, very, very much want to eat up the Sudetenland for even more Germans as well as factories. Wait, what? They refused our offer to join our faction. They're the ones who wanted to be invited. Eh, no. No real loss. Actually, the Czechs really don't have a lot of factories. Ask the question of Yugoslavia. Following the return of Austria to the Reich, we now share a border with Yugoslavia. The government of Prince Paul has been fairly quiet about their stance on our proposed re ordering of Europe. Perhaps we should remind them that the time will come when they must make a choice. Put a squeeze on them. Yeah, let's squeeze the Yugos. Can we squeeze them well? That is a real question. We get two political power a day. Wow. And that's after we're boosting the ideology in the United States. That's actually really good. Of course, they're 20% fascist. That's good for us. Uh, War Department, they have Home of the Free... Uh, London Naval, London Naval Treaty Signatory, what is this, Air War Plans Division New Deal, Slow Recovery, well then, let's see, so we ha we're still trying to build up some ships here, we definitely, definitely need some more, uh, planes, we'll need planes, tactical bombers, change this to medium tanks when, 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 when we get them, and I'm gonna need naval bombers. I don't mind, uh, for one fighter, how many fighters do we actually have? Let's see, we've got... Mm, I think we have plenty of fighters for now. Uh, I don't want to use them. That could just cost up a lot more resources. Get rid of fighters. And I'll continue to use them until we're all out of fighters, or less than 100 fighters in total. But, since we have 155 political power, we are continuing to increase our current stability because of improving worker conditions. So, that leaves us with something else here. Ballman, can I trade you for military factory speed? Hmm. Actually, that wouldn't be bad. Wait, what is that? Prince of Terror. Foreign subversive activities efficiency minus 30%. Interesting. Hmm. Fascist... Daily fascism support plus 0.1 and more war support. That's pretty good. Uh, I mean, it's not bad. It's pretty good. Not, not great, but not pretty good. Liberal journalist. Tanks? Well... We already have a bonus. We're researching them already. Naval research speed's okay. Planes are also okay. So really, we, we have a pretty good amount of things to do. Let's go ahead and actually increase our conscription level. Because uh, we could use more manpower very soon because we are going to need a lot of manpower that we're currently trying to produce. We're producing a lot of infantry equipment and support equipment only divisions. And we got a lot of motorized, which will come in handy later on. Uh, looks like we actually are stalling out for a lot of uh, guns. Let's do this. Five. That'll be good. We'll make a few less guns, but something tells me, even though we have a massive deficit of guns, it's much easier to produce guns than it is support equipment. And Yunnan joins... Oh, yeah, we could join the Chinese United Front. Uh, to keep us occupied, we might as well do that. It looks like China is actually holding on fairly well. I don't mind supporting the Chinese, if that means we could do well, potentially. Grind out a lot of army XP. Maybe some... Eh, probably not really any naval XP, but we could get more air XP. We really have guns. We have not very much artillery, but I'm going to send in 
Actually, how many divisions can I send to China? Just to hold the line. Uh, I get... Oh, wow, six divisions. Holy crap. I'm not going to send in my tanks because those guys will definitely need, definitely need some time to uh, train up. So I want you over here. Uh, send Just send the Mountaineers. They have artillery. They can actually do pretty well. And then... Actually, since I took away a division from them. Go there. Followed up by... Nothing else there. <clears throat> One, two, three. Actually, just go with this. And then we're actually going to give... Six here, and then another four. Just because he's filled up with his army group. Makes things a little bit more easy to administer. I'll put it like that. <clears throat> Lots of these groups. Let's see. Von Manstein wouldn't be bad. He's a engineer. He's a trickster. Panzer leader, experience factor, and better attacking and planning. It's not bad. Winter attrition. Eh, he's also an engineer. Uh... Good von Manstein, since I'm not I'm only gonna use one tank general right now. And Hans Guderian is very good for tanks and whatnot, but eh, von Manstein, why not? You'll become an infantry expert probably eventually, but that's okay. China, I'll help you out. Why am I helping China out? Well I explained it in the last episode, but it's mostly So that first of all I can grind up some more army XP, which will come in very, very handy. I'm probably not gonna send any planes just because. And then uh, I could grant out. Yeah, I need a lot of army XP to get this neat army doctrine done. And I always go with mobile infantry whenever I use mobile warfare. The benefits to mobile infantry are just better than the benefits to Blitzkrieg. Yeah, I get a little more organization, a little more breakthrough, but overall, it's really not much. So, yeah, but since we have a land doctrine, that'll definitely help us research that more. I'm not sending planes over because I need as much fuel as possible, as our ships are training. Uh. Or exercising. That's what I have them there for. And I'm really going to mostly focus on military fact, civilian factors right now. Because 1937, it, 1936, 1937 are the years you just want to build up that massive industry. However, I will build a few military factories as well because they are they get built pretty darn quickly. Let's see, 70, 70, 70, 70, 60, 60, 60, 60, 70. Warsaw actually wouldn't be bad. I did say I will turn Warsaw into a oil field, which I plan on doing, but you really need to focus on most nations, most nations. Cool. Uh, increased Dutch trade demands. I don't really care. I'm going to take them out eventually anyways. Uh, so since we're here, and oh my goodness, oh, these are a lot of the Austrian templates. Actually, I'm not going to get rid of this one. Yeah, it's, no, it's like ours. Schnelle Division. Hmm. Right now, what I'm thinking of is Coastal Division templates. Actually, I prefer to use this one just because it's a little more aligned because they already have two support companies in this infantry division. Alpiner, Jaeger, Alpin Jaeger, whatever. Uh, I'm think I'm debating right now whether to use cavalry for coasts and and resistance versus infantry. Well, let's take a look. Infantry, uh, you guys, even though you have less, th they have the best suppression. But I think let's see, defense. Where's soft attack? Defense is a hundred. Uh, I don't know. This is just bigger. I'll probably just use infantry. So and get rid of the Schnella divisions. Whatever. Cool. That's, I don't know how China is actually on kind of the offensives. I mean, they took some territory from Nkukuo already, which is kind of crazy to think about. But that's okay. I mean, the war basically has just started. And, oh, Karl Egelseer. Oh, you're an Austrian guy. Oh, you're a mountaineer. Oh, yes. Yes, please. But, very interesting to see, at least early on, the Chinese can do so well. All right. Give me all that land XP. Oh, maybe I should have sent nah planes. Uh, I don't really want to send planes. The Japanese probably have a lot of planes, and I'm really trying to build up all my planes as much as I possibly can. Tactical bombers, fighters, fighters. Uh, heavy fighters. We are starting to build. Uh, 
uh, I don't want to send any fighters over because I'm not really making any more. Uh, you're actually really good, Ace Pilot. If anybody, I'm going to use the flying, the red battle flyer, Kushna. Oh, we don't have air superiority. Okay, then. Well, I'm not going to use them then, for now. Uh, where are you guys currently? Can you fight here in the battle Tijan? Tianjin? Nope, nope, I guess you lost it. Oh, these guys are getting circled. That's not good. That's really not good. Wait, why are you guys taking so long to get over here? Huh. Are you trying to help attack? I know it's over a river, but that's really not a good idea. If you could break through, that might get some of these guys some hope so that they won't starve and die. Ah, oh, Reich's Autobahn. Very good. I love the Reich's Autobahn. Now we will go with War Economy and six more military factories. That is so good. We've got to keep an eye on this. December 26th, we'll have one of our first battleships created. That's actually not really good at all. But don't worry about it. Ooh, better oil processing. Very, very good. And I also have some coffee here, too. Ah! Ah. Uh-huh. Ooh, Schwimmer Panzer 2. That looks really cool. Tausch Panzer. Look at that. That's, that's kind of cool. Uh, artillery. It's 1937. Actually, industry. Naval stuff. We are pretty good on. I'm ignoring carriers for now, even though carriers are actually really good to have. Like, it's rec really recommended you have a carrier for every strike force you have. But we're not using those at the moment. Obviously. Uh, planes right now are okay. Air doctrine is okay. Naval doctrine is lacking. Uh, tying up their fleet and destroying supply lines. Well, that's not really my goal here. My goal is to actually create a massive Kriegsmarine. So really, we want to do fleet and being. But this still isn't too bad. I won't really use heavy cruisers, so that's kind of half of this is negligible. Subs. I'll definitely use subs. Destroyer, battlecruiser, battleship. Uh, I might as well just stay with this. We've already started this. It has a heavy emphasis on subs. I'm okay with that. Plus 20... Uh, plus 20 carrier organization isn't bad. Engineering, radar, I'm probably going to do radar unless... You know what, this is 200 days. Fuel gain from oil and refineries. It's not much. It's not much, but it's honest work. Uh, Alright, they kind of wanted to... Oh, maybe we'll crack them. Maybe we won't. Given Monstein some time to really build themselves up. Oh, these guys are actually pretty fairly injured. Could you attack this way, maybe? Give these guys maybe a little bit more of a boost. Oh, also. High priority. Very high priority. Very good, very good. Uh, we didn't win that battle. That's okay. Wait. Did my guys die? Did they literally die trying to... Oh my goodness, they died attacking. My bad. My bad. Uh, I did not mean to do that. I swear I know what I'm doing. Well... We're going to stay here and be defensive for the rest of the time. I mean, they were mostly... Actually, Mountaineers. Oh. Um, you, you saw nothing. Yeah, you saw nothing. Cool. And I guess these Chinese divisions are going to die, but whatever. The Chinese up here are doing actually pretty well. Hmm. Military staff. Offense. Oh. Plus 10% division attack. Plus 8% division organization. Army drill. Speed. Well, since we have divisions already in the field, I'm going to do infantry, division, defense, and attack. Unless there's something better. Nope, let's do that. Nice, factories are coming along. Very nicely. Actually, you know what? I really wish I didn't get rid of my other two divisions. Can I send two more divisions here? Yeah, we lost a few thousand guys, but that's pretty normal. Wait, why am I checking myself out? Uh, send volunteers. I can send two more. Awesome. Cool. Awesome. China, everyone's helping out the Chinese. Just keep defending China. If you keep attacking, you will end up losing the war. Italy, Italy announces claim on Yugoslavian territory, huh? Hmm. Can't wait to get to war economy and six more military factories. That's so good. Plus air support, naval bombers. Yeah, we definitely need some more rubber. Awesome. 
go ahead and just help defend the line. That's that's my main goal. I should not have been, you know, trying to attack or anything like that. Uh, yeah. Oh, actually. I know I don't have a bunch of support companies, but definitely give them engineers and support artillery. That's probably one of the reasons why they died. That stuff is actually really, really necessary and useful. Oh, yeah. Recon companies just makes them, in my opinion, quite a bit tougher. Oh, man. They are really trying to kill us. Von Munchstein, are you learning anything? Carl, are you learning anything? You're not here just to, you know, mess around. Oh, he's learning a little bit. That's good to know. Oh, Gorilla Fighter. Ooh. Oh, oh, there we go. Panzerkampfwagen 3. <clears throat> we need those medium tanks when we invade the Benelux as well as France to capitulate them as fast as possible. My goal is to have at least four tank divisions, four 40 width medium tank divisions by the time we attack. Because it's almost 1938, I'm going to go ahead and just do a computing machine. That would make a lot of sense. Oh, we have Tianzhen. Awesome. Uh, well, go ahead and help help them defend this territory. Lots of defense. Lots and lots of defense. And the Yugoslavians request sales of airplanes. Realizing a strategic weakness, the Yugoslavian Air Force has initiated a crash program to modernize and expand its force. Significant money reserves have been set aside to cover the purchase. A commission is traveling around Europe to look for new sources of fighters and medium bombers. Given the urgency of the issue, the Yugoslavians have insisted on an immediate delivery or transfer of planes directly from the producer. Let's see, fighters, we send 50 fighters, which actually I'm okay with. Or bombers. At gains div diverted bomber production, we lose, or it costs more for us to produce tactical bombers. Uh, can't spare anything. I'll give you fighters, because I'm not even going to use them. And, happy 1938, everyone. We have added six more military factories, and we're now on war economy. Uh, we definitely don't need to do form the Reichskommissariats yet, but let's go ahead and um, be a little more aggressive, perhaps? Naval dockyards actually wouldn't be too bad. Two more naval dockyards is pretty good. Eh. Demand the Sudetenland. Uh, yeah. I mean, we've got a pretty sizable infantry army around here, and a few tanks. And it looks like the Czechs actually don't have enough divisions to reinforce the entire line, especially after you take Poland. Oh, believe me, we need some more support company. That's very good. Uh, I'm gonna let... Oh, wait, 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 wait. No! Oh, we had some extra of these things. Oh, wait, we have... Reich's Reserve Fleet. So we have the heavy ship out now. The design is from the original design, which is not very good at all. Go ahead and combine. Train those guys up. And now we can actually f create a fairly competent... Oh, we didn't do Raider yet. God dang it. Fairly competent uh, battleship. Minus the radar, but I'll have light cruisers, maybe eventually, or destroyers have radar or something like that. Let's go ahead and make one of these. And just put you on the Oxy Flotilla, I believe that's what you are. Yeah. We definitely need chromium and tungsten. Ooh. Uh, get one thing of tungsten from Quanzy Clique. Rubber, we'll get one from Brazil. Gotta make sure we support people that might support us in the future. Oh, look at this. Look at all these factories. That's so good. And as those are producing those factories, I'm gonna actually add in one more military factory because we really gotta get started more and more with this stuff. As well as uh, refineries. We won't actually don't do that there. We will need a ton of refineries. Because we. And yeah, I did say we'll turn Poland into an oil field, but most of Poland will be an oil field. And a little bit of Germany will be as well. Awesome, they are still defending. Wow, that's a lot of divisions dying. Go ahead and retreat. I'm going to replace you with this guy. Like crazy. Goodness. Goodness me. <clears throat> nice. Oh, uh, yeah, we'll definitely. Let's make five of those at a time for the destroyers. Very good, very good. Close air support, Scott stuff. We all have stuff here. Let's make sure that we're producing enough support equipment and then really hammer home on the tanks and then fighters. 
But not before we do more and more naval bombers. Oh, good. Modify the government. Well, currently, I would like to do war propaganda. We could get another building slot, which would be very good for us. But since we are kind of currently fighting, it's 1938. Planes and ships are still okay. Tanks will definitely be okay for the foreseeable future. I can't go with total, mo total mobilization, which hurts our manpower. Um... Well, since we're already in the d field, division attack goes up, or drill. We'll be attacking a lot, so I don't mind doing that. Go ahead and do that, that's fine. Oh, wait, oh, almost forgot this, 1938 stuff. Uh, infantry, yeah. Definitely do that infantry stuff. That'd be great. I clicked a button there, something happened, not really sure what happened. Come up there. Tinjian. God, they, they really desperately want this province. And I already told these guys to be a high on reserves, and... We've lost quite a bit of manpower. That's okay. We should be gaining... Yeah. That's a pretty good amount of army XP. It's not too bad. Von Manstein is learning to become an organizer, an infantry leader, as well as a hell's fighter. He will be one of the greatest generals that our country will... Uh, by the way, maybe I should do this instead. Yeah, do that. Put that both on infantry on high as well as divisions on high. Actually, send you up here now. Send infantry up here. Good. What is the casualties like for Japan right now? 91,000 versus half a million. Alright. Interesting. Uh, low echelon support. 1738. Uh, well... What radar? We don't exactly need it yet. Let's get as much aircraft stuff we can get done as possible. We don't know how long we'll have all this extra naval or air XP, so... Uh, go ahead and send you guys this way. Wow, Japan, you are really grinding us out. But definitely helping us with our army XP. Uh, let's see, tanks. We're going to start integrating some medium tanks into our divisions. I'm going to need to research some maintenance companies as well. Good. July. Oh, man, I definitely need more dockyards. Oh! The Munich Conference. Talks have been held in Munich between the leaders of Germany, Britain, France, and Italy to discuss the future of Czechoslovakia. Both the British and French have accepted our claims through to the Sudetenland as legitimate, and their previous offers of support to the Czechs have been rescinded. Oh no. Re recognizing the hopelessness of the situation, the Czechs have surrendered the Sudeten territories to us. Their oppressed German inhabitants will long last be brought into the Vaterland. We get more land. More population, more war support, and stability. Great. I could do the first Vienna war to kind of bring Hungary into our alliance. But, let's see. Coal liquidization actually would be very good. Synthetic rubber would be great as well. I'm going to do naval effort. Like, cause I, like I said, it's only 35 days. And I need naval dockyards. I really do. Agreement. Oh, wait. Shock is gone? Because its prerequisites are no longer fulfilled. Um, Anschluss, Sudetenland, Shock. Uh, well, I guess we lost Shock. Not Shack. That'd be kind of cool, though. Uh, Albert Speer. I remember when I played the Darkest Hour, Darkest Hour, a Hearts of Iron game. Albert Speer was one of the most busted, the greatest. Minister of Germany could add because it gave you like 20% more factories just a flat 20% and it was amazing Really great. It was awesome. God, I wish they would bring back his ability instead of civilian to military factory conversion speed But regardless, we'll probably actually go with Walter Funk next so we can produce more Things all right cool Still get to over two political power a day mobile infantry great. We don't have enough army XP yet. But that's okay That's oh, already March. Wow I keep producing, guys. So now we're producing some military factories, some refineries, and the rest are civilian factories, which is actually pretty good. Uh, naval dockyards, yeah, I won't be in time for the war, but that's really not my concern here. I'm going to need to produce more military factories. 60%, 60, 60, 60, 60. To 70. And another 70. Fine with me. Uh, put this up to the top. The more oil we can produce ourselves, the less factories we have to give away. Good god, they're still fighting over this dirt. But then again, that sounds like the Middle East. People are always fighting for dirt. 
and not not even the Middle East, but you know, all over the world. Always fighting for more and more dirt. I don't mind actually getting a little bit more rubber since we have so many civilian factories. And yeah, I need some more fighters. Heavy fighters, that is. Naval bombers. That the like of medium tanks, definitely. Cool. Uh, our guys are actually mostly ready for another, this, I guess, more of the same fight. Carl Egelseer. Slowly becoming better and better. As well as Von Manstein becoming quite a bit better. Ah, oh, awesome. Naval effort. Spam that spacebar button. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Plan Z, which is actually pretty good. Or U-boat effort. What is this? Crossing the Atlantic. Well, I might cross the Atlantic. I don't know yet. It might actually be better if we do U-boat effort. Battleship, battle cruiser, super heavy battleship models, and bonus of carriers. So we'll give befriend Denmark, but I'm not going to do that. I want more land. Mm, befriend China or Japan? Probably J B Japan, even though I'm fighting against them. Let's do first Vienna award. Just because we can maybe get a little bit more territory or let Hungary like us maybe a little bit more. When does this go away? July 5th? That's coming up fairly soon. We get another political advisor we could use. Yes, yes, yes. I kind of like Heinrich Himmler. I'll probably get him later. He will become a general later when I will activate SS divisions. Uh, I'll do Funk. I wish there was a guy you, get, you, can re, you can build refineries faster. What is this? Daily support for unaligned home. I want a minister who can help me build up refineries faster because that's what I really, really want. Yeah, artillery's doing well. That's awesome. We can produce military factories very quickly, which I absolutely love. Love, 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 love it. All right, we were waiting there for a little bit. The Chinese are the Soviets here, maybe. I know they like to. The Soviets like to support the Chinese in their war, but maybe not. Do we have actually have our ship out? No, we do not. We are producing, or have begun production on our heavy ship Hull C, which allowed to give. Uh, good. I don't want to lose territory because fighting over a river is pretty tough. And right now, since we're stalling the Japanese, it actually is probably helping out the Chinese because they haven't lost all of their factories yet, as well as giving the Chinese more time to get, get more manpower so they can produce with those factories more infantry equipment. So I'm really helping stalling the Japanese. Stalling the Japanese out as much as I can. To make sure that the Chinese military is bigger and stronger. Of course, before the Japanese do invade navally. Now, is everyone in China fighting together against the Japanese? They might do that. Ooh, Yugoslavian fighter competition. The UAF is currently holding trials for a new fighter. According to our Air Attaché, our newest model is poised to win. A formal request from the Yugoslavian government is expected shortly. Representatives of the manufacturer are strongly in favor of the sale, but there are national security concerns about selling our most modern equipment to a foreign country, especially one that we want to take over. Should we permit the sale? Um, well, we get more XP, air XP, and we're giving them a blueprint for our modern fighters that we're not even going to use. I'm okay with this. Guns are good, artillery is good, support equipment is getting better, medium tanks we actually have a fairly decent stockpile of. Fighters, they're just there. We're producing a very small number, number of naval bombers, that's good. It's only mid-1938, so we got some time. Uh, who uses tungsten besides tanks? Is it just tanks that use tungsten? Oh, artillery does. Yeah. We could probably get one more of this from Guanzi Clique. I'm fine with that. Good, 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 good. We have another military factory. We got some more civilian factories coming on. We are getting more rubber and oil. And they finally stopped attacking us. Funny, huh? The Chinese are killing themselves, though, uh, against these people over here. Hmm. Very good. I think we're doing pretty well. Even though it could be better, but it could be worse. And we will have the first Vienna Award right about now. Boom. All right, what does that do? Hungarians were one of the people that suffered the worst after the Great War. I just want to support them. And then we'll do the fate of Czechoslovakia next because I want more factories. All right, let's see. 1938. It's getting close to 1939. Um... Who could benefit the most from more political power? 
tanks. I'm not really using those. Military high command. Recovery rate armor I will need to do eventually. Bomber interception. Nothing here helps me immediately. Nothing under military staff. Research and production, though. Carrier armor, capital ship armor, and heavy attack could probably benefit us first when they apply their insignia to the ships when they are produced. So I'll do that. Dispersed fighting is done. 1938. Good. Good, good, good. We got actually quite a bit of naval XP right now. That's pretty awesome. Um, da -da -dum 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 -dum, uh, maintenance companies. I need field hospitals. Yeah, I gotta have field hospitals for my infantry divisions because without those, I'm gonna make or lose a lot of manpower. Just too much manpower, in my opinion. But that's my opinion, which I'm allowed to give. Still pretty good. Almost done with this next civilian factory run. I mean, we just started it, but the run is doing pretty well. This one's doing pretty well. Hessen, we're building up a lot of oil. Go ahead and start producing more naval dockyards as well. Let's do that. Competing machine. Faster research speed. Let's get some more decryption in there. And the Chinese are trying to attack this area. Which, actually, you know what? I'll support. If we don't have to attack across the river anymore, well, then that would be good. And we help them do it. Awesome. Extra da naval dockyards. Because we have just finished another one of these. Well, we're going to have a lot of... I'm not producing any subs. Hmm. To really do the Kriegsmarine well, we're do building up quite a few destroyers. Which is nice for light screens and whatnot. But we're, we can only produce so many battleships at a time, which are very crucial in your war effort. So I don't mind doing this another one. Do another one of these. And I'm just going to throw everyone in the Hoxie Flotilla for now. Because when war breaks out, I'll actually probably divvy these guys up a little bit better. And we should probably start thinking about a light cruiser, actually. A better light cruiser. Torpedo launchers. I don't know about that. Let's see. We'll end with this. Rapid fire guns. Light cruiser battery 2. Better anti-air. You want your light cruisers to really focus on anti-air stuff. Uh, s s torpedoes. Eh. We already have... Let's see. We have you down here. We want this. This makes it a light cruiser. We have sub detection. It's not bad, but hmm, I want to use radar for this. Well, actually, you know what? Let's wait on that. I want to wait for the radar to get done first, which will be in 48 days, so we can start producing some better light cruisers. But with that in mind, I think we're doing a very, very good job so far. We're producing military factories, civilian factories, which are almost done, uh, tons of refineries, and some naval dockyards as we are beginning to close out of 1938. So with that in mind, guys, I'm ending it here for today. Uh, leave a like if you liked the video, subscribe if you're new, and I will see you tomorrow as we continue to dictate the future of Europe just through a massive infantry army. Wow, that's a lot of divisions. See you tomorrow, guys.